welcome to innovation space today we will make periscope to make a periscope you need two hardboard on which a sketch of periscopes are drawn scissor cutter double sided tape clavicles two mirrors scale and a tape to decorate first of all cut out the outline of sketch drawn on this hardboard you can use scissor or cutter as per your convenience Scissors here. So you have to cut this portion up to this line, not throughout the line, only up to this line. So you have to cut out like this, where we have marked scissors. Only up to this point. You should not cut it throughout. Similarly, here. Okay. Similarly, we will cut out from this hardboard just from outside. Okay. So, remove all the extra papers. Cut out these lines also as we have done in previous case. Please ensure that we should not cut throughout. We have to cut up to this line only. And in this case up to this line. These portions are flaps. These portions are our flaps. Bend them using scale. Keep the scale on line and bend these flaps at 90 degree angle. Keep it on line, keep the scale on line and bend this flap at 90 degree angles. Similarly this flap. Now, we have given all these flaps at 90 degree angles. Now, please note carefully the sides which I am bending. This small rectangular piece, I have bent it and now this a big rectangular piece also, I am going to bend like this. Now you bend down this bigger rectangular piece like this. Half of our periscope is ready. Please note down. We have bent this side, this side and this side. Okay. Similarly, we will bend the other piece using scale. First you bend all the flaps. Thank you. 
this is a good idea. Yeah. 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 Now, in the second piece, we have to make some correction. After making all the bands, you reverse all the bands. That is, earlier we have all band in the direction of sketches. Now we will revert it back so that all the band will be on the other side. So we will change all the directions of the band. Like this. Earlier marking will help us in finding out in which way we have to bend it. It will be easier for us. Now your piece should look something like this. So, now this is half of the periscope. Uh, body and this is another half of the periscope body. Now they are complement to each other. I have sketched it in such a way that they are both complemented to each other. Now see, if you just reverse it, means if this has an upper side, upper rectangle, bigger rectangle, now the one with lower rectangle will keep it here. And you will see that the whole body of our Periscope is ready. Okay. Now to make it our periscope body, what we will do, we will start pasting it. We will paste this side, this vertical side and this side. We will not paste the top side and extreme bottom side. That we will do in final stage. Okay. So what we do, we apply adhesive on flaps. Apply adhesive only on flaps. You need not to apply adhesive elsewhere. Just give it a smooth touch so that it should hold properly. Okay. So, say for example, now I am holding it like hold for just one or two minutes so that it stick firmly. Okay, after pasting this, we will paste this vertical side. Size of mirror should be equal to the width of your periscope and the diagonal space which we have here. Size should be such, such that if we put this mirror here, it can be fitted easily at the diagonally 45 degree angle at this point. We will have one mirror here and the other mirror will be in this direction. 
both should be at 45 degree angle so that you can view through this so that you have a clear view. Okay. So first of all remove all the lamination, the laminated sheet from the mirror. From both the mirrors. And now take double sided tape Okay, now take double sided tape and take it a little longer piece of double sided tape compared to its width and paste it like this on both these pieces. at the back side. Like this. At the back side. And give a 90 degree bend here. Just adjacent to the sides. Give a bend like this. Okay. So it should be something like this. And similarly with your other piece. Now there inside you will see one diagonal line here. Adjust the, the length of your rectangle in such a way that it should match with this diagonal line. Like this. And keeping it straight paste the double sided tape. Similarly we will do with the other end. You can see a diagonal line here. Now match this length with its diagonal. And then paste it. Just move through it. Now you can see it is clearly the other side. Now it's time to close the Now apply and have seal on the flap. decorative tapes. 